Hello. Uh, hello, my tarot friends, and I hope you are well. So I am looking at another Kipper deck. So I, I talked about the um, uh, Rainbow Kipper, which was like my first uh, foray into playing with Kipper. And this is the, um, this is Kipper Oracle Cards by Alexander Musrock. And this is by, published by Schiffer Red Feather. So they were nice enough to um, let me review this copy. So here is the box. The box is actually magnetic. It's a very cute box. Now this comes where you can buy it just the, the Kipper cards or with the book. And this is just the, 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 um, the cards themselves. So I think the cards are absolutely lovely. They are um, gilded on the um, around the edges, and they really have a lovely uh, back to them. It's very it feels very um, sophisticated. <laughs> so here's the back of the box. It says developed in 1890, Kipper has been a favorite of the German divination community. Classically styled deck reinterprets the original German images with a Parisian touch. Accessible and practical, it's perfect for beginners and advanced readers seeking advice and guidance on their most perplexing, perplexing questions. Enhance your reading skills with a companion guide, The Art of Kipper Reading, Decoding Powerful Messages. Um, so this is a 36 card deck. So let's look at it. There's the book. Here is uh, the author. So, so the card stock is really, it's. It, quite firm and I love that it's not overly shiny. So we have main mail. Main female. Marriage. A meeting. He has a shuffle. <laughs> And he's smoking a pipe. The good lord. And that's lord like someone who owns land. And, you know, like she's begging for something. The good lady. So we have the good, a good, the good lord, uh, the good lady. And we have main female, main male as sort of like your cards, like your, for your person. A pleasant letter. A false person. I love the little marionette. That's really, that's cute. Pleasant letter is nice. A change. Crazy carriage. A journey. A balloon. A lot of money. It's just on a table. Just a lot of money. Which feeds into the next um, cards. A rich girl. She's got a harp, looks very sophisticated. And then we have a rich man. And then we have sad news. Looks like she's reading a newspaper. Success in love. Now for this one, it actually, there's a heart there, you know, outside of the picture, which is a little different. His thoughts. His thoughts. A gift. A small child, and a little stork, a few.
funeral. The house, à la maison. It's a very modern looking house. Ce n'est pas un château de français. Ou un château de France. Living room. Mm -hmm. That reminds me of the Tildwick almost a little bit. Militaire. A, a military. The court where someone is tried. Not just thievery, but the thievery. Look at her stealing. High honors. Big luck. Unexpected money. And expectation. Expectation. And prison, that looks like the Bastille. Storming the Bastille, Bastille Day. And legal matters. Good day, ma'am. You've been served. <laughs> what do you mean? You've been served. No, I haven't done anything. A short illness. Uh, grief and sorrow. He is drinking. It's Troubles his pain away. There's actually some words there. I cannot read them though. He's wearing a um, that cap um, and that little um, that little um, like a rosette. Um, that's like a, almost like a. It's a very political thing. Uh, I believe. I'm trying to remember from the movie Daton with Gerard Depardieu. Um, it is um, talking about um, Gilles de Ray and um, the, uh, you know, the guillotine and, and um, down with Imperial France. I, it, it's, I forget what it is. Danton, Danton. Um, Murky thoughts. Murky thought. What is a murky thought? I mean, not something not clear, something that needs to be worked on, something that, or murky is in with a negative connotation would be maybe um, having uneasiness about something, but not really founded in in reality, or maybe murky thoughts like maybe you want to do something not so um, nice. You're thinking about it, stealing, maiming, killing, hmm. occupation, what you do. A long road. Lovely trees. And Hope Big Water. I always love those as the last card. Hope Big Water. Um, 
Hope in Big Water. She has a lovely anchor that she's posing with and a spyglass. I'd say a telescope, but spyglass seems to be very apropos. So, okay. So if I was to do a reading with these, remember I'm, I'm very rusty with Kipper, but I'm gonna try to do a reading for myself. So we have these cards and I don't think I need to pull anything else out. The good Lord and the good lady can stay. Um, so I am a male. So I'm gonna put the main female to the side and where I place the cards around um, this guy. I'm going to shuffle these really quick. The lovely back. Shuffle these just as best I can. You know, I'm not a very, um, I hate to abuse cards by like bending them and clack, 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 you know. I just, I still have, you know, years and years and years of reading with cards, and I still feel like I have a lot to learn as far as shuffling goes. Okay, I'm shuffling. I'm still shuffling. Let's see how things go. Okay. I'm going to put the cards down here. Got my main. So um, let's see. Uh, I'm going to try to wing it. So card here. What's coming up? The good Lord. Which would be somebody, uh, maybe an authority, someone who um, is um, above me. Um, literally, it's someone who owns land that you are basically renting from, essentially. But, or you're, he's the one who, yeah. But... Um, you could interpret this as a boss, maybe, or, um, maybe a, a, a friend you hold in esteem, maybe. And let's see, uh, murky thoughts. Ooh, there's that murky thoughts. Hmm, murky thoughts. Associated with the good Lord. Murky thoughts. <laughs> Do I want to kill him? <laughs> Do I want to steal from him? Do I, um, I guess the good Lord could also be your employer, to be honest. Um, as an entity, your employer. So, murky thoughts, um, could be, I don't know. I'm not feeling, I'm not getting, let's go, um, the main male, he's facing this way. That looks like, okay, so I'm going to go, I'm going to put a card here. Oh, occupation. Well, that's interesting since I said something about the job, murky thoughts, and occupation. Um, that is, uh, so my job, I'm a librarian, that's what I do. Um, I don't foresee any movement in the near future. I don't see any going, you know, any um, movement as far as like changing positions or changing leadership. Everything's pretty stagnant right now. Um, short illness. Hmm. For me, maybe. Short illness. Hmm. Well, I've been having issues with my sinuses but and um, allergies, but I think I have a handle on them for the most part. Um, let's do one more card. I don't think I shuffled these very well. A long road. Yeah, see, I'm getting 30s. Um, hmm. I'm going to say I didn't shuffle very well, well but... So if I was to take these away, what if I just put these aside and draw another card? Mm -hmm. Eight. False person. Ooh. False person. Mm -mm. Who is false around me? I don't think, I don't I try not to surround myself with people I don't trust. But sometimes you can't help it if you work with them. 
I, it keeps going back to the job because that's all I've been doing lately is just going to work and not doing much else. Um, hmm. I don't know. The one thing that I, I struggle with as far as Kipper goes is you have these really constrained um, meanings or, you know, and Kipper is supposed to be extremely literal, whereas Lenormand is very sort of symbolic, um, which is a little easier. Um, and, and with tarot, of course, you got your own interpretations, you got different flavors of the decks, you got all that good stuff. But anyway, so I tried. So here's the muskrek, musk, muskrek kipper. Um, and you can get these on Shiver, uh, Red Feather, MBS, the website, or wherever. But I appreciate um, uh, Red Feather, MBS, um, for letting me uh, look at this, check this out, review it. What do you think of it? Um, since this is my second Kipper deck, it's a, it's a beautiful deck. Um, it's, it's nice to have. Anyway, here you go. Thank you for watching. Other Schiffer books. If you go to shifferbooks.com, um, this is the Schiffer Publishing website, and you can go to books by subject. There's paranormal, UFO, folklore, as well as my favorite, tarot and oracle, um, and see what they have. There really is a little bit of everything here, so and there's lots to look at. So please check that out. Thank you.